Bionic Gloves presents the Hands-On Golf Podcast, bringing anatomy and hand function to the forefront of glove design to improve comfort, fit, and performance. Bionic is a division of Hilrick and Bradsby Company, makers of Louisville Slugger bats and ball gloves. Bionic gloves are the only gloves designed by a leading orthopedic hand surgeon, Dr. Jim Kleinert. Welcome, everyone, to this week's Bonnie Gloves Hands-On Golf Podcast. My name is Chaz Rao. I am your host, and I'm here with Eric Gilliland at the Ottoman Country Club in Louisville, Kentucky. Let's get right into this week's email. It comes in from Daniel, and it says, It seems that at least once during every round of golf I play, I will hit a shot that is fat, usually real fat, much like the shanks. I have a huge fear that the next shot I, next shot I hit will be fat, and then I skull it. What is causing these fat shots, and how can I completely eliminate them from my game? Well, can I answer this one? Put your clubs on a very low-carb diet. No, None of that rich candy soda stuff. Is, is that what we're talking There's about? There's a reason why he does the introductions and we teach the golf. Yeah, I know. So, that's right. I'm not a PGA pro, but I try to be one, uh, but I'm not. So, Eric, how can we answer this question? Well, you know, uh, most avid golfers know that correctly impacting a ball is hitting down through the golf ball, impacting the ball, and then taking taking a divot. But there is one key to making sure that you do that consistently, and we'll cover that here in just a second. Well, Daniel, thank you for your question. And remember, just for your participation, you get a free bonnet glove. And if you'd like to be a part of this podcast and get one of these as well, it's easy. All you have to do is send us an email, podcast at bonnetgloves.com. Make sure you put the question, your name, full mailing address, whether you're right or left-handed, and whether you're medium, large, all that good stuff. And please leave your feedback in iTunes and in YouTube. Please keep sending us emails, asking us lots of questions. Please visit bonnetgloves.com. Tell your friends to check it out. Purchase a glove at your local golf outlet or at your retail outlet. Support us. Support the podcast so we can keep doing this for you. We greatly appreciate your help. And let's go join Eric now on the course and see how we can resolve this week's podcast. A lot of words there. So let's go out on the course and uh, see what we can do now. Okay, Daniel. As I mentioned earlier, we're striking the ball by hitting it with a descending blow. So if you come down here with me, I'll show you what I mean by that. The club's impacting the ball before it ever hits the ground and then takes a divot after the ball is struck. And we want to do that on every single golf shot that you hit with an iron in your hand. So to avoid hitting shots fat, you've got to maintain a good posture on every single golf swing. And here's what I mean by that. When you're out over the golf ball, you've tilted so that you'll feel a little bit of tension in your lower back and you've created a nice relatively straight line with your back with just a little bit of fold from the shoulders and head. Once you're out over the golf ball in that position, that posture is maintained to the top of your backswing and then into your through swing, you maintain the posture to and through impact. If you're hitting thin shots, you've given up that posture and added loft to the golf club, hitting the ball in the upswing. And if you're hitting fat shots, which seems to be your consistent problem, most likely your right shoulder has dropped on the way to impact and the club's bottoming out before you ever get there. So if you focus on establishing that good posture and maintaining that all the way to and through impact, you should eliminate those bad shots. And Daniel, a lot of the things that we've covered here and in other podcasts are in that library at bionicgloves.com so feel free to reference that for any of that information or contact your local PGA professional and as always thank you for the question